Let's turn an old dead deep freezer into a giant crypt fog chiller for the cemetery. Now every home hunter knows that if you want your fog lying low to the ground, you've got to chill it. You can certainly buy a fog machine that is self chilling. We actually have one and they do work amazingly. But we also have two old fog machines that are not self chilling that we'd like to be able to use in different parts of our yard haunt. And we just so happened to have an old deep freezer that kicked the bucket and was heading towards the junkyard. We started this project by measuring the deep freezer and then cutting some foam pieces as a facade. And the foam exterior literally just slides over top of the deep freezer so it is removable. We spent a lot of time adding trim work and details like these Dollar Tree skulls that we cut in half. And this is actually what we're going to pipe the fog out of. Now I'm not sharing the dimensions of this because they are specific to my freezer, but you can literally replicate this any size, any shape, just get creative. And to be honest, since this is made of foam, you don't even need a freezer. You could just use this as your chiller. On all of my prop projects, I start with a coat of flat black paint and then I go in and lightly mist a gray and a beige color over top of that until it has a stone-like effect. Now, since I made the facade before Tyler drilled the holes in the freezer, he had to go back and line everything up and then drill holes. You can see how well the fog just hangs out in that freezer. So here we are sliding the crypt facade over the freezer and testing everything to make sure it all fits and lines up. And this is always the most fun part of any complicated prop build, the test where you find out whether or not it actually works. And it did, it looked so cool. And this is without anything in that freezer being chilled. This is just straight fog, not even good fog. This is just cheap fog. So we knew we needed to light up the skulls. So Tyler drilled some little holes in the eyes and then I ordered some LED under cabinet puck lights. Now I did not get battery operated ones because it is very difficult to reach up into those skulls, like my hand will not fit. So I got hardwired ones and then we ran the wire just on the back side of the facade. Um, here we are testing out colors. We ended up going with red because we just thought the red looked really good. Uh, here it is in the yard at night um, with fog coming out of it. I love how under the red light you can see the little crack detailing in that Dollar Tree skull. Even though the fog effect looked amazing without being chilled, we still had a little bit of work to do in the guts of this prop to chill the fog. So I grabbed some tools, a fan, some zombie hands, some spray paint, and a piece of leftover ducting from our dryer replacement and some LED strip lights. So while I waited on Tyler to get home, I added the LED strip lights to the bottom part of the lid. I spray painted my zombie hands fluorescent green. I also spray painted the edge of the freezer door green. Um, and when Tyler got home, he came and screwed some chicken wire into the inside of this thing. And we dumped five big 20 pound bags of ice into it. Now this video is from three days ago. The ice is still in the freezer. It is insanely amazing how well it has held up. We also stuck the little fan inside of it to circulate the fog. And this is what it looked like after we got it all said and done. Look how insanely cool it is. The fog just pours out of those skulls and creeps across the yard. I wish I had the time and money to add a little pneumatic motor in there to make the lid sort of rattle and lift up and down. Definitely an upgrade I want to make for next season. Thank you so much for following along on this prop build. It's definitely been one of our favorites so far. If you made it this far, thank you so much for following along on this tutorial. We really love making these videos for you guys. If you wanna support our channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that we can keep sharing these prop builds with you. Here is a little sneak peek of the next thing we are working on. It's Zero's doghouse because we can't do Christmas unless it's Nightmare Before Christmas around here. I like to call it Spooky Christmas. As always, if you make your own version of one of our props, please tag us in the videos. We would love to see it. 
Memento Mori, friends. <laughs>